United Democratic Party haka kendai terik umenai kelal lingkot arhajar arpulai dalam penbenah pat bak yang ketup kerteng ke ba'ar jongki kandidat banyak kun yang ke election ke banwan cikin yindor bar tau ayin ke jelah kini ketup kerteng ke ba'ar ke kintup ya ki argut ki kertong jong ke rilum garo kata UMLA berim ke South Tura John Leslie ke Sangma bat ke Dr. Pilne Sangma na North Tura Haduk mentah ke UDP kalau penbenah haduk lah pesangut ke kertong banyak konnya ke election ke banwan Kiwai pat ke konstituensi ke bagi UDP kampat penbenah kadai namar bakadang besar bin pe bin suaban ait tiken Presiden jong ke UDP uba long ru speaker ke Megharia Legislative Assembly uba medpa lingdo ulo ong Baga UDP ke persang ban penyang kandidat habarok henru pautali ke konstituensi Bat menta ke UDP kadang Shim Jing Ken yang baru ke konstituensi di bakampat penbenar yang dikertam. Today we are announcing the name of two candidates from Garu Hills. As you may be knowing that the first list of candidates announced earlier that was on the 22nd of November 2022. We have brought out the list of 32 candidates from the UDP. In fact, we were the first party to make the announcement for the list of candidates to contest in the 2023 assembly elections. Today, for the second time, the state election committee has sat. And today, we have approved two more candidates from uh, West, Garu Hill, West Garu Hills. Two very prominent faces from West Garu Hills. One is former MLA and former MDC, Mr. John Leslie Sangma, who will be contesting from 51 South Tura. And then another name is Dr. Pilne Sangma, she is a member of the UDP. She will be contesting from 50 North Dura. Earlier she had also contested as an independent in the assembly elections 2018. And she also contested in the district council elections in the year 2019 from uh, Dura. So we have these two names who the, whom the state election committee has uh, selected today. We have also a number of other names from different constituencies of Garu Hills and also from Khasi Hill. But uh, we will have to wait for the announcement of these, uh, you know, of these aspirants from the different constituencies. Even UDP also, we are eyeing for more than 30 numbers. But will so if we can get a single majority, that's <coughs> nothing like it. That will be the best. Are I you think. looking that the MA coalition will continue post 2020? As of now, we are fighting on our own, and UDP is not aligned with any other political parties Would, till now. Given a choice, which means, which means that we are fighting, we will get more than that. Given a choice, will you, will you looking to work with TMC? The choice will come only when the time comes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's How doing do you know? that decision? How do you? Uh, the 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 can, oh, that's why we're going slowly in, even in declaring the candidates of from the party also, because we want to assess, do a ground work properly, and comes out with the <laughs> final final list of the thing. Did you did not discuss anything about that? I'm so glad. Uh, because in the last, in the first list of our candidates, uh, as I mentioned to all of you, that uh, we are very unfortunately we could not, you know, have a single, you know, woman candidate from our party. But this time, Dr. Pilne um, happens to be our candidate from there, and we could finalize it, not just because uh, based on being a woman but based on the, some other criteria also that she could fulfill as a candidate. So what exactly why I was also surprised to see that uh, they have uh, you know, openly announced that uh, they're not going to put up candidates there. So I don't know what's the reason, so the best thing is for them to ask.